This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky. Talk tech, it's time for the awesome cast on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, ready to get with it. We got a full house today. First of all, Mike Pound is with us. Back by popular demand. Checking what button that was. <laughs> Your <laughs> Uncle yeah, Crappy was. on the Twitter and of course, uh, 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 Newspaper Man. Yes. Yes. Whose popular demand was it that I, I came back to play? Everybody's. So, oh, nice. Sweet. There you go. That's, 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 that's very cool to hear. Thank you, guys. There you go. Also, no, it's, no, it's great to be back. Also with us, well, well we're freshly rested from election night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Also with us on the couch, he's in Studio A, John Chichilla. That's me. How's it going today? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That's good to be back. Back for the pizza. On the comfy couch. Also, definitely back for the pizza is Just Katie Dudas. <laughs> She's going to be silent the rest of this, except for the ad. Uh, at Kate Dudders on the Twitter, social media, peeps uh, with the scare house. Yeah, I do stuff on the interwebs. Mm, interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I said, it's the Awesome Cast. Check us out at awesomecast.net. Uh, you can subscribe to this show on Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the Facebook and YouTube channel, as well as all of our interviews with the awesome chat. We just talked to Jim Jen over at Alpha Lab last week, and uh, we talked about a video game Kickstarter with a pro wrestling promoter a couple weeks ago, Mike Quackenbush. Yes, that's his real name, of Chikara Pro, uh, and a lot of other fun stuff coming in. I don't even know what... I think we're talking about hair technology this week, uh, actually, with Reese's Tech, if I, if I have my schedule right in my head. Uh, so look out for that. And, uh, and, 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 and also, Thanksgiving, you'll be able to listen to a new episode of Awesome Chat. Uh, we'll be queued up for there as well. I hope it's something that's relevant. I, I scheduled them out and didn't really think about the holiday. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, and also please uh, uh, check out patreon.com slash awesome cast thanks to our patreon supporter uh, Mike Fedor Mike Fedor show on the Twitter uh, go there and, and uh, support the show uh, and, and or if not that it's okay just share the show uh, rate it on iTunes or wherever you might be getting our podcast hey um, I understand so we did well <laughs> You're not hearing this if you had a problem, uh, but we did uh, update things. I mean, if you caught us on another thing, um, um, uh, we we moved to Fireside.fm, a, a new uh, podcast uh, host, and uh, sometimes the feeds aren't going to work. I, I, I tried to replace them everywhere I could, but if you're on like a you know an Android, uh, another kind of podcatcher where you used our talk shoe uh, RSS feed, you might be a little broken, and you probably got got something that said, "Hey, we're not here anymore." Uh, so I left a little message. I left a message at the door for you guys, a forwarding address for you. So please go over, subscribe if you have any problems, and find us other places. Please hit me up um, at Sorgatron on Twitter, and we'll uh, we'll hook you up or at AwesomeCast for that matter. Uh, also, uh, shouts to RiversEdgePGH.com because they uh, have not changed their address, and the AwesomeCast shows up there 8 a.m. every Thursday after Funny Money and on their feeds as well. So, also nice bonus. I'm also resubmitting the tune-in, so we'll finally be on there. <laughs> So, because the old feed like wouldn't wouldn't digest, I guess. So, hopefully, we have some more luck with this new host. All right, let's get into our awesome things of the week, and I'm going to find them here, and I'm just going to randomly pick a pick a Katie to to go first. Pick a Katie. Yes. Pick, I'm first. pick whatever random Katie. Yeah, <laughs> anyone you want. All right. Uh, my thing is the Facebook's unified inbox for Facebook Messenger and Instagram. If you're on Pages, I don't know if you've gotten the update. It didn't seem like. I didn't realize that not everybody had gotten this, and I, uh, Scarehouse was one of the ones that had gotten the update, where essentially you go into your Facebook, on your pages, and you go under Messenger, and then suddenly it's a whole bunch of crap. It's under the all <laughs> column. Oh, so this is a forward-looking thing. Oh, I can't. This is great. Um, I, well, it, it stresses me out because everything kind of shows up as a message now, uh, which, which stresses me out because I'm like, oh, a message, I have to instantly respond. 
Um, comments, not so much. You know, if I, comments I pay more attention to, share. You know, there's certain things you pay more attention to when you're running a page. But when you go into the inbox, the first thing you have is all. And it's literally any comments, any messages, any things on on Instagram that you may be happening on your Instagram page. And then you can go and break it down in between things and go, oh, I just want to know what's going on in Messenger or Facebook feed or on my Instagram feed. So it's nice that you can actually go down and, and have your Instagram all in one app in, in Facebook, you know, all both in one place. But at the same time, like I said, it's it's stressful because they all kind of look like messages now. And it's and then you can mark things as whether or not you completed the action, it says done, or you can mark it as something where you want to follow up with it later, maybe if you haven't completed. So a lot of things I accidentally mark as done that I don't know where they go. <laughs> so it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's definitely some growing pains happening. I, I'm at least thinking, at least for me. I don't know if everybody else is having an easier time. but So I haven't seen it yet. So this is in the Pages, the mm-hmm. Facebook Pages mm-hmm. app. Mm-hmm. On and on iOS, you're seeing this already, mm-hmm. right? Uh, no, I haven't seen it. But so so now, when people message me, I don't have to not read it. So I, I, it's still there. Like like when people are asking for that match, I don't have to like just keep it on read and ignore them. So it's still rising to the top. I can actually just kind of pin it, right? Well, things kind of get lost in traffic though, too, in this. At least for me, because if you look, I'm mean, I could show here, but it's like, oh, this is a guy who commented on a post from two days ago. This. Uh, Somebody commented on a different post and then, oh, by the way, here's a message here. And then like three more down is a message. And then there's some Instagram stuff happening. So, but like I said, you can break it down into the individual categories, but at the same time, it's like when you're looking at that all column, it's just kind of terrifying <laughs> that a lot, a lot more stuff is happening than you think it is. Mm-hmm. And especially when you're trying to pay attention. I, I don't know. I'm glad it happened after the season was over because I do not know what I would have done. So you have 365 days to prep. Yeah. It'll be like, you have a thousand messages. Can like, you imagine you somebody is preparing for Black Friday right now oh. and we're like a, a week and a half out from Black Friday and they just lost their ass on this thing. Yeah. That's and it was not- a surprise. Like it was one of those things where I clicked on message messenger on, on there and it was like, oh, by the way, this is all your crap. Well, did you ever see the, the message requests that are buried? Yes, because I, I cleaned yeah. through those, and I'm like, oh, this was a thing. And yeah, a lot of people messaging me about stuff. Like, I I never knew that existed. Mm-hmm. And someone, we, we were we were having dinner the other night with a bunch of people, and some, someone brought it up, and I'm like, I have no clue what you're talking about. Where is that? I have people in here asking me if they could take a picture of the Google Glass. I have <laughs> people just saying hi. Wow. I have no clue who they are. Um. I have people inviting me to different. I'm like, where? I didn't even know these all existed. <laughs> wow. I remember to check those like once every six months. Yeah. Um, and yeah. there's always, there's always some interesting stuff in there. I, I mean, I, I knew they were there, but it's like, Oh yeah, right. I, I, I should probably take a look at those. Oh boy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting to see what is going to happen when this shows up on my phone, because I, I have a page for, for the, the beer show traffic for that is kind of modest and manageable but i have a couple other I, i'm also an admin for a couple of the newspaper pages and it's possible that um my my phone could actually melt in my hand from the <laughs> stuff that happens like uh, with those notifications so we'll see i love uh, uh you 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 i and katie need to compare how many pages we have <laughs> yeah. in our app because there's um, more than an entire screen on a, a 6S on my right now. <laughs> and I realize I'm not catching up with notifications very well either. <laughs> nope. so, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, well, this is Facebook. I remember, I don't know how many times I like got in on a Monday to the one client. I'm like, oh, hey, that thing that we did last week. Eh. And we're doing streaming on, on Facebook and everything too. And I'm completely just prepared for showing up um, one week and it just it's not there, you know. Um, I'm like, what are you showing me over there? Are you showing? I watch it on Facebook. On Facebook right now. Uh huh. Maybe not Facebook there next week. Maybe there you go. There you go. Um, wow, that just looks like that looks like that. So is this 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 is at least all? So Katie sent over her 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 screen. That's just a screenshot. Like that, that's <laughs> right. And I'm trying to get it over on the other computer here. Um, so that's that's. But it's all Scarehouse, right? That yep, I'm looking this is at? just Scarehouse. Okay. I mean, that is intimidating. <laughs> that is definitely intimidating. You have, so yeah, now you have to look at each icon. So it's like, hey, here's all your stuff. Now you have to look at the small little icon for context, right? Mm-hmm. And, 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 and you know, if you're in social media, what that context is, 
dictates how you respond. You know, you're not responding to a message the same way you're responding to a comment, and they all kind of look the same here now. Do, do you think though? Do you think that's based on reaction? Do you think they'll bring this to the typical everyday Facebook user? Yes. To Absolutely. Tie, to tie all the services together. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I think I think you just pump it into Messenger. Well, everything everything seems to come to pages first. Live came to pages first, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of their features came to pages mm -hmm. first. So I, I've been getting stuff recently about uh, about connecting uh, Instagram accounts with with the pages mm -hmm. uh, right. where I'm an admin. Um, I, I have not done that yet, but but Facebook and this this is within the last couple months. Facebook has been poking at me. It's like you know you can do this, and and someday I. I for, at least for the beer stuff, I, I would I would probably do that. But um, but yeah, it's uh, I, that that sort of integration seems to be a priority. Right. I, I love the Facebook and Instagram integration for ads and boosting posts because you're able when you're you're creating an ad, I can send the ad not only to Facebook but to Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it's nice just being able to go. Okay, I only have to create this one nice image, and everybody gets to see it on both sides. And then it's great to see the responses are different when depending on the platforms right. right but it's also bugging me on my personal account to do that too mm -hmm. um and i don't think i want to do that because I, I don't i don't want to link my personal instagram to like sort of media brand or anything like that i mean right. other than how it all it's already kind of in, inferred you know so sorry there was a message in the in the chat uh but uh, uh <laughs> Too much traffic cop over here, but anyways, and I'm still distracted by my new background, so there's a lot happening, and I'm not, I'm just completely not used to it. I hope the compression's okay out there, guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, no, it, it, I mean this is this is kind of what we're used to if we're dealing around these things, and you kind of have to be ready with somebody to change the game of how exactly you do your job here. So, yeah. Yeah, don't get comfortable doing anything. No, 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 that, no, Facebook. no that's, that's basically the thing. Yeah, social media. Don't get comfortable with anything because any of this could die you know you know how many people became a meerkat expert a year and a half ago and 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 wondering what to do next you know uh so yeah exactly all right uh uncle crappy mike pound what is your awesome thing of the I, week? look this is um this is a, a, an acknowledgement that I'm, i i still have a 12 year old brain sometimes um but but and it's also it's also a kind of cool thing because it is apparent uh that that the folks at, at apple um, do occasionally listen to to what we what we want to see. I don't know if you have like before and after pictures that you could can throw up there. Um, you may be aware as you as you look at the uh, the emoji keyboard um, that the old the the original peach uh, on that on that keyboard looks remarkably like an orange human butt. <laughs> That is remarkable. Okay. There's, there's Wait. the before and after amazing and, 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 and kind and of and soon to be. And, and so what, what Apple did with the, with the, uh, with a, 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 the most recent update, the peach changed, um, to something that actually looks a little bit more like a peach. I, 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 I don't know this for certain. I, I swear, however, that this was done intentionally, um, that the original, the original peach, I don't, could, we have the consensus is a peach butt or butt peach. Do you guys have a preference? I think it's a butt peach. peach. It's a butt peach. Butt peach? Butt okay. Peach. Okay. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the butt peach looked that way as, as uh, it, and that was intentional. Um, the, the, the latest peach looks just sort of like a peach. And there, this cause was a cause of consternation uh, on the internet and, and, and in beta uh, versions of, of the, the, of a coming, uh, iOS update, we have returned to the butt peach or the peach butt, whichever, whichever. It, 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 so I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I mean, it's, it's a beta version, so you don't, you don't know for sure, but I'm hopeful that, um, we will, we will, uh, be able to return to the, the pe peach, butt butt peach, um, sometime here in the near future. I just love well, one show title. Um, and secondly, <laughs> I just love how many times you just like said, butt peach, like so many times. <laughs> I, I, I was I, that is completely unrehearsed. But I was, somebody I was out there put that the techno that music, please. But, but, it, it, it's like it's like the, the the butt peach lost its crack yeah. in, in beta yeah. two, and, 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 and it's a different and shape. Brought too. it on back. Um, the whole the whole different shape. I just seriously, it is it is kind of cool that uh, that 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 uh, the Apple would 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 consider something like this and and uh, and and listen. 
to, to something relatively small. I, I, I actually, I, I'm kind of taken by that. That's a, that's a pretty cool thing. Well, when it's uh, interesting too, like people lost their minds over this, but yes. not as many people went nuts when they switched the gun, the revolver to a squirt gun. Uh, if you follow some more conservative kind of people, um, I, I, I have some friends who, who were really upset about that. Uh, okay. um, but, but no, I, but I, I agree. I think overall the, uh, the, the peach butt or uh, butt peach was a much bigger deal. It's all about the emoji. <laughs> and this is why it's important that your, that your companies upgrade their operating system. Cause it's the only way to That's deploy a new emoji. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Kimberly, the in the, will be gone forever. Kimberly in the Facebook chat is saying uh, apparently somebody in Cupertino hated Georgia. So there you go. But, you know, I, I do kind of want that made in Georgia for every like show like The Walking Dead and wherever WWE is in town. Sure. There's like where the made in Georgia thing and you know, just the butt peach. <laughs> nice, Kim. So, um, <laughs> wow. So the awesome thing is the butt peach. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> That's where we're at with that. All right. Um, Chilla, what is your awesome thing of the week? <laughs> um, I can't How do you com- follow that up? I can't compare what's, it to the what's butt your, peach. What's your post butt peach um, awesome thing? I mean, I think it's an interesting shape on this thing if, if we want to go that way, I guess. <laughs> but um, you see what you do here with that is you insert this in ladies? your ear. <laughs> So, so mine is the Plantronics uh, Voyager 5200 series Bluetooth headset, um, which I've actually, if, if you're familiar with their their Legend UC series, it, it's kind of this to me is an upgrade, and they made some extremely well planned out upgrades. Um, but it is your standard over the ear, single ear Bluetooth headset. Um, definite wind resistance and noise cancellation which i really really liked about the device one of the things that when this device the in the prior version of this device um you had to have a special connector to charge it or you had to have their special dock or you had to have their special charging case one of the things that's pretty cool about this is they still do have the charging case i don't know if you can see it here um so yeah they still have their charging case the really cool thing i like about it is the charging case is now also the dock so you can take take it and kind of put it in here um and then also they've added to the very bottom of the device your typical micro usb charger which to me was a big hassle with their old model because they actually gave you this like keychain this thing you could put on your keychain which was probably an inch by a half inch wide um, device that you would plug a micro USB and then you would clamp that onto the headset to charge it and you couldn't just charge it anywhere. Um, But the eight hours of battery life in the charge case giving you over a full recharge is is super, super nice. What interests me more than anything was the the advanced noise cancellation, being in loud and noisy environments at work. A lot of people around you talking, you're trying to carry on a conversation Today, no one seemed to pick up that I was in a busy room, and I get a lot of complaints when people are around you talking, and they're saying, can you go in a quiet room? Can you do this? Can you? So this this kind of changed that. Um, I'm interested to see, does it get the, the, the battery life they're claiming? But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And the other th- nice thing is um, you just plug this in, and you can kind of set it in the dock, connect up two devices at a time. I had it connected to my com- my work computer today and streaming a podcast for three hours and i had no problems with battery life so it was nice. still over 50 percent. nice cool check that out it is uh and is, is available on amazon and everything as well yes so the voyager 5200 series from Polytronics, and you you can get it you can get just the headset and you can add on the dock later and other things i'm sure you can find kind of a pretty good deal on on, on the charge case. Um, oh, the other thing the charge case actually has in it too, if your device doesn't have Bluetooth, um, it actually has a Bluetooth dongle that fits. Ooh. So if you need a dongle, Ooh. it fits right in the case. And the, the, the um, Bluetooth piece is kind of nice because it actually glows different colors depending on if you're on a call or you're not on a call or if it's connected or not connected, etc. 
All right, go check that out. All right, my awesome thing of the week, um, I think, is like the thing that I wanted several years ago when I went to New York City and got a Google Glass in the long run. Um, so there's a Kickstarter going right now. So, okay, again, you know, what is this going to be for real? I don't know yet. But uh, the View Everyday Smart Glasses. So this is what we wanted, right, Chilla? Like us as glasses wearers, like it's, it's and they actually kind of make fun a little bit of the Google Glass in this video, right? Um, but it's basically looking at, uh, 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 their prescription glasses, but you can do like sunglasses and stuff like that too, and non-prescription, whatever you'd like to do. But, um, it's got a lot of that stuff in Google glass. There's no camera with it. There's, um, uh, the, the bone conducting, uh, microphone like you would have with the, the speaker on the Google glass, right? So nothing actually goes in your ear for this thing. Uh, which worked really well. I mean, that was that was a really cool technology that, with that. Uh, the, the other thing I liked about the whole bone conduction is I didn't feel like, like when I have earbuds in and I'm on the train or I'm walking down the street, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm missing what's going on around me, potentially walking into traffic. The bone conduction kind of leaves your ear somewhat open. You can st- You can still easily focus on what you're listening to, but you still have that peripheral idea. But it's still, it's, um, it's, got the google glass kind of thing going on um there are messages and and such that are going to pop up uh um, in your vision on the glass it's projected onto the glass there's a microphone built into it uh and 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 the more i look at this it seems to be um i kind of look at this as the pebble of smart glasses like it's it's because it's not apple glasses it's not google glasses or anything like that it's not self-contained it's going to be pairing uh through an app through your phone i believe uh, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing glasses like this when I'm, I'm running. But um, but it looks like a good replacement that I could maybe wear these instead of my prescription glasses when I want to. Um, they don't look any different, and you're going to get like you're going to you're going to get that response and everything to it. Uh, so. so, and I didn't get to watch the video earlier. So how does it project? Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's just a response kind of thing. Now I think of it. Because they don't actually show anything of the projection in here. But it says that a one-week battery is, again, very, very kind of pebble-like. Um, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's interesting. It's, um, yeah, listen to navigation. So, okay, I'm mistaken. I, I was under the impression that they had a, a projection thing. But all it is is kind of audio response and activity tracking and everything. So it actually does a little bit less than I expected it to. But still, it's like, Kind of enough to kind of get a response and and have a little bit of audio uh, uh, and, and and feedback interacting with your phone again, like like your watch would, right? The, yeah, and I kind of like this idea because by getting rid of the projection, it takes away the potential for strain on your eye. You get probably more battery life out of the device. Mm-hmm. The interesting thing too yeah. then is you can you don't have to worry about using their lenses um, or, or whatnot. Obviously, you can get any lens put in it. It doesn't have to be some kind of special coding to then allow it to, to display. And with everything all the companies, Google, Apple, Microsoft, etc., are doing with their, with their assistants, I feel like we are going to need kind of the heads-up display less and less. Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 it seems like, you know, Okay, I had when when I was getting into the Pebble stuff, I had to re get into having something on my wrist, right? I haven't worn a watch in ages because the phone really took care of that. Mm-hmm. So this seems like something like okay, I don't want to wear something on my wrist. I'm already wearing glasses, which is a lot of us, right? Um, and as all of us here, glasses wearers part time or, or full, like you know that that's something that can kind of fit in to our lifestyle and 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 do and and have a lot of that kind of feedback. Uh, Crappy, what do you think as a glasses wearer? I, this is interesting. And I, I, um, I, the, the projection stuff actually would, would be a really big distraction to me. Um, so I, but I like the idea as I, as I kind of scroll through this and, and, you know, look at the list of, of what this actually does, uh, you know, navigation in my ear often would, would be really helpful. Um, uh, hands-free calling. Uh, I, I'm I'm intrigued. 
I'm intrigued. Plus, they, they, they look pretty good, too, which is, uh, uh, you know, a, a really big step up from, from anything that, that Glass was able to, to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, 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 they, this is intriguing. Um, I, I, I think it does, I, it, it does enough uh, that it would be worth taking a look at. Um, but, I, I, you know, some of the stuff that, that I think would be a distraction to me is not there. So uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's worth taking a look. What do you think, Katie? Uh, I don't know why you have guys haven't talked about the part where you go, never lose your glasses. <laughs> like, so, I am one of those people that will take off my glasses and set them down somewhere for mm-hmm. like just a second, and mm-hmm. then they're gone forever because I'm, I'm blind and I cannot find my glasses anywhere. They don't come off my face. That's how I don't lose yeah, them. Yeah, that's yeah. like, I, like I, because I'm so blind, like they go on my face in the morning and they go off. Mm-hmm. But I'll even like set them on a shelf nearby. Like if I'm like washing my face or something, and I'll just set them down, and I'll be like, "That was different than normal." Like, where did I do with these? Or if I like, yeah, it, it's that dangerous around the shower and getting ready for the daytime, yes. right? Yes, like, exactly. Because no, no, I've like for that's some funny. reason, like I was walking around and I was like, "Oh, it's time to go take a shower," and I left them on my desk, and I'm like, "Why would I even do that?" And I just can't find them amongst the. The, the black slabs of technology sitting amongst my desk and I can't find my just, like yeah. also black glasses on. Or the blanket death where you just set them on your bed somewhere and it's just like it's in a blanket somewhere I can't find them. I'm just doing this like blind. <laughs> oh, the cat, the cat would steal the glasses if I left them on the bed. Oh my That'd be bad. There's that too. <laughs> There's that too. But again, yeah, and I think it's a little redundant again if you're already in the smart watch world. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. but again, I, I think it's I think it's another opportunity. Like if I wasn't already in that, I would be diving on this. But also, I'm probably getting them for my mom so she doesn't keep losing her glasses because that's also a problem with her too. So and, and the price isn't bad at $179. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And, and I think it's that's uh, not bad at all. One is a 129. No, or is a 179 for the early or well they already sold out of the they early bird. Sold out of the early bird. Yeah. Uh, the regular I think is going to be 229. So, uh, but but still not bad for what it is. Mm-mm. Not bad for what it is, and and I'm sure it's going to be more to get like the proper lenses and everything for prescription, um, but still, I think it's a really cool option. One of the things, and I'm I'm guessing they'll do do the same. One of the things Google Glass did, I don't know if you looked into it, was they gave you, um, certified mm-hmm. places around all the different cities where you could get your lenses done, um, in addition to past the ones they had listed there were there were plenty of other ones as well because i actually looked into that um i'm I'm sure they'll do the same with these or they're using some kind of i don't know if there's a standard for for lens size or whatnot but i really really like these it's interesting that they've been the idea they created the idea in 2014 which just seems so weird that that is, is such a long gap because it seems like when things come out, especially on Kickstarter, it's like, okay, we came up with this concept uh, three months ago. Let's do this, and, and it just there's been a those lot are the of ones that usually flub. If you're like, yeah. hey, we've been working on this since 2014, mm-hmm. you know, um, it's it it's it's a little more interesting. Like um, it, the product product development has been really really interesting to kind of follow. And, and Katie, I know you and I both attended the, the Indiegogo where they talked about that too mm-hmm. and seeing what, you know, talking to people at Alpha Lab Gear about, we, you know, that making a thing is, is, is so much harder because you have to deal with manufacturing and, and, and maybe you can get, get some 3D printing in there to help out or something, but still. Um, but I like the idea of wireless charging just popping into the case. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so at night, it, it could basically just charge at that point. Uh, uh, Kimberly in the uh, chat, I was also saying, Mantra, I gave my daughter who got glasses at age three on your face or in a case. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Yes. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, that is our awesome things. We got plenty more to talk about. But first, I want to talk about something else. That's pretty awesome. It gets people here in the studio like tonight. Mm-hmm. Crappy, we'll see you next time. Uh, this is Slice on Broadway. Our good friends over there right here in Beachview on Broadway Avenue, as well as their other locations down on Main Street in Carnegie, PA, and PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, so some great and stuff. And on, on the north side where I live. <laughs> and more importantly... Mm-hmm. Right by <laughs> Uncle Crappy. And, we, and we've been there a bunch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, good stuff. Go check them on out. Uh, fresh ingredient, ingredients. They did not get this thing off a truck and throw it in an oven. They made it. They're throwing the pies in the air just like they should. Just like pizza was meant to be made. 
just like mom probably never made it because she wasn't Italian. Sorry. Uh, but uh, <laughs> maybe some of you, but not mine. Uh, but anyways, uh, go check them out. They've been supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza for several years here. And uh, help support them back and let them know you heard about them on the awesome cast. Crappy, do you give them an awesome cast high five when you go in there? I have not, is there a special handshake that I should yeah, know? Yeah, yeah well, I, I, I've been telling people to give them a high five and say that's from the awesome cast or whatever podcast you heard about them on. So uh, I, I would actually, I've actually been very impressed. I mean, I know I give them my phone number and they can look it up and see the name and stuff, but they are very careful about using my name even when I come in. Um, it's, 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 uh, th- I mean, the piece it is awesome, but they are good people in the Northside shop as well. And that's a, that's a, a nice bonus to, um, to when it's, it's, an, it's now pretty much my regular pizza place. Um, killer, killer app coming soon on their website, online Please. ordering. Okay. I'm in. Oh, oh, I'm in. oh, Chilla just peeked up. What? Ch- Chilla just peeked <laughs> up. <laughs> Cause I mean, that's, isn't, isn't that the thing though? Like you're like, I'm too lazy to call somebody on the phone and order pizza. Well, and, but here's a, here, <laughs> I'll grub hub Chinese. <laughs> you know, here's the thing is that. I keep wanting to try something different. Mm-hmm. So I keep having to go online to look at the menu. Mm-hmm. So if I'm already there and you're already there and I'm already there, it makes so much more sense. It's a lost lead to, to me too. Like there's so many times where like on my phone, I don't keep phone numbers for different places in my phone. Mm-hmm. I just go well, to Google. I, <laughs> I go to Google and type in the thing, the name, and yeah. then, then it brings up their phone number and then I hit call. Because I'm just, I guess I'm too lazy to add it into my phone. So the only pizza place since in my I'm phone already is there, on I have the only other place I really order from is Chinese, but that and slice. So, but I don't, neither one of them do I have the phone number, honestly, in my phone. It's I go to the website because I always want, because they have such a good menu and they have so many different things. I always want to try something new. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Go check them out. Okay, uh, let's get into uh, some of the other stories of the week that I have not looked at. We got we got to talk about Snapchat. <laughs> we got to talk about Snapchat real quick. Um, so Snapchat has the spectacles, uh, which are again kind of that Google Glassy thing. Has the pictures on it, uh, but they're delivering them in a very interesting way. They are um, doing pop up vending machines that look like a minion with balloons on it. And the video, the promo video, is fairly creepy. Fairly <laughs> creepy. Um, the 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 eyeball Ooh. balloons, I think, are are part of what's doing it to, for me. Um, but it, it looks like, yeah, it looks like a um, you know those Coke three hundred and sixty machines. I, it's like <laughs> it's like it's like it came alive. Okay, um, it's judging you. Is and it's judging you for your choice. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You picked Powerade. Um, yeah. So, so they did this um, over in. I did it say Venice Beach? I think it was. Hold on. I know it was near. It was near um, the. Uh, um, what we're talking before the show. Daily Tech News shows Tom Merrick. So he actually went over there and said there was about like an hour and a half wait, a line. For the vending machine uh, near Snapchat's um, headquarters over there, of course, and yeah, it just says near their headquarters. Uh, so first one in LA, but apparently going to pop up a few different ways, and they're going to they're going to um, um, do. You can visit the Spectacles homepage and click the find a button, uh, find a bot button. Sorry, for earlier conversation. Find a bot button. <laughs> And it brings up a Google map with the current location. So here it's Tuesday night on November 15th. Uh, what? Where can I find a bot? I'm kind of curious about that. Let's see how the site goes. Live demo. It just got question marks. It's sleeping. There's nothing. There's nothing happening here. It's just sleeping and, and question marking me. I guess. I guess it's sleeping. Judging you. It's judging me in sleep. Uh, so there you go. Uh, but but it's been out and it has it has had a few reviews. Um, the interesting part about this is it actually gives the picture. It takes the picture um, as a circle. And the reason it does that is when you have your phone and it pops up, you can actually turn your phone and you're turning in the circular image. So, so you're there's, seeing... a, there's an automatic crop in the circle. Yeah. But okay. you're moving the crops. So if you move it sideways, you see yeah. side to side instead of the top and bottom. 
It's cool. It's an interesting That's way to do that. Mm -hmm. That's just I'm confused. What? So if I turn the phone. Hold on. I gotta get the video. Does it thing rotate up. the video? No. Yeah, it rotates the video. Oh. So if I'm if my head's tilted like this, and I want it to be upright, I can tilt my phone <laughs> like this. Hold on. I, I, <laughs> this is fun. I, it, it was it was kind of hard when they explained it until they they showed the visual on the Verge's uh, uh, review. So I'm going to try to cue that up. But uh, but still, like, and and we were talking before. I guess Snap is going public here very soon. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, here's a little bit of the video. So here's how the video comes out as just a general video that I presume you can see online or something like that. Um, and and yeah, so the phone is like kind of in the middle of the circle. You could kind of you could kind of say. And you turn it along with it. So, um, so I don't. The, so the camera's on one side, and there's the circle dial notify thing on the other side. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How long till someone mods this and puts it into something else? <laughs> <laughs> and gets rid Instead of the light of ring. Put in the talking fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Alexa and the talking fish was amazing, <laughs> by the way. Um, but yeah, or or they 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 hack it so instead of uh, going going to uh, Snapchat, it goes to RedTube or something. Um, but uh, I love that he gives a review uh, with the glasses on the entire time. It looks like he's in, like a doctor's office. This is incredibly nauseating. Is it? Like to watch some of because he's just like, well, let me go over here. Let me look. Over here. Oh, here you go, uh, Chilla. Here's the visual example uh, of of what happens with the circular video, so you can kind of see. Um, I know this is not going to help our audio people, but um, no. So, so you see the phone goes in and you can. Oh, so it's cropping a portion of the circle. Right. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Now I understand. I thought you were saying it was rotating the circle. No, 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 no. It's keeping it upright. There was an app that you could take That's video cool. with that no matter what you turned your your phone, it would keep it upright. It would just kind of change what that angle was. Hmm. So, so you didn't, it was, I was sending it to all the pro wrestlers. So they stopped doing vertical video. Now that doesn't matter, of course, but <laughs> still like it was a pain in the butt when I needed to use it on like on a regular DVD, you know what I mean? Uh, so, but interesting. I don't know how it's going to go, but then again, the, 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 it's hard to understand the Snapchat audience, I think a little bit too. Um, so I don't know. You can see a bunch of kids That's doing it. You're old. I know. I know it is. I gave up. I went back to Instagram <laughs> and I'm probably using those stories now. <laughs> Um, I know Katie, you're still on it. I see your your Taco Tuesdays, yes, all the time. So <laughs> I don't know. What do you think of this as as like kind of the possibilities for it? I like the idea. Of, well, this is for my industry. It's dangerous oh. because there's so many so many more wearables, and this is just another one, especially connected to Snapchat, where you're already trying to control what people get out. <laughs> put the phones away put the glasses away well is this something like with google glass is this something that you're gonna be like like no snapchat glasses in the haunt or something yeah it's like another thing we have to add to the list you don't specifically say that no so it, <laughs> i think it's it's i think there's we're gonna hit a point where it's like you do not specifically list this type of technology I, it's okay if video I glasses or yeah, something yeah it's good yeah. To any video there. recording devices yeah. well, you're already, streaming you're already what's not that? video recording it streams yeah. live yeah, yeah. <laughs> well yeah it's a little bit of all that so i guess it kind of counts but still like i, I think having a include including but not limited to glasses and and there's watches that have cameras now you know those kinds of things mm -hmm. so I, I like the idea. I wish it, it had a longer record time and had the but ability where I don't. Chat. But it's I, Snapchat. Right, I w but to me, they're just recording glasses and I'd like to use it for other things. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be more apt to record a Snapchat chat, not tell anyone that that's my account and then pull the video off to use later. Um, I'm not a huge Snapchat person, but to me the what is it up to 30 seconds of uh, total video that's not a lot for the majority of things i'm interested in doing but that's an eternity on snapchat yeah. right so it, it's not something you're going to start using snapchat for right i think it's more you're kind of already embedded in that right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. speaking mm -hmm. of embedded are there any news uh implications for this uh uh mike i don't know i i, I mean I, uh, we use we use we, we have a couple different Snapchat channels. Um, I, I, I'm I, I would be curious about 
uh, what this would mean for like uh, user generated stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, but with, with, uh, with the investment in a, in a pair of spectacles, that's, that's kind of limited. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a cool different perspective, but uh, I, for our purposes, I think the Snapchat would have to be a lot more ubiquitous than, than it is at the moment. Um, uh, and, you know, the, 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 the channels we have are, are, are fairly busy, but I, I don't know. I, it, it, it's, it's kind of a cool thing, but sort of a niche thing, I guess. I, I'm, I feel, I'm not sure I, I feel like it, your entertainment reporters might want to have this. Uh, the entertainment guys, we have um, uh, the, the, our sports guys actually uh, do a nice job of, of kind of uh, using this. Um, and that's that has some possibilities as well, and and, and especially for for user generated stuff. Um, I, I think that's that, that would be interesting possibilities here. Mm -hmm. But but again, uh, the, the the actual glasses, uh, Snapchat's much of uh, is a much broader platform, and, and it has some interesting possibilities. The glasses are this kind of a that's cool sort of thing, but I'm not sure how many people would use them. Right. Right. All right. Uh, so, uh, Katie, I want to touch on your uh, uh, topic here before because I feel like the crappies are going to go for a while. Uh, <laughs> so, and, and we should we should probably touch on that one too, just as a kind of heads up and everything. Uh, so, uh, uh, Katie, tell me about this uh, photo scan. Oh, cool. Uh, Google has a new app. It's called Photo Scan, and this is this would be a, it would have been amazing for me. Like a week ago when I had a family function where I had to turn a whole bunch of pictures and make copies for family members. Mm -hmm. And I was literally using my phone because my scanner was being a butthead. And I was, and I'm holding it up and I'm trying to get the right light. So you're not getting that glare on the photo. You're not getting the reflection of your own phone while you're trying to take a picture. So I, uh, yeah. I was, cause my plan was to send these to Walgreens, make copies. And this, this is a really cool thing. And Chill is super excited about it too. Uh, but there are four white dots essentially when you go to take the picture. And each time they take, you essentially take a different snapshot each time you touch on a dot. So it, it's, it's stitching these photos together to make one photo without the glare, without the, um, the, you know, the reflections. So you're able to actually get a, a decent copy without having to stand there. And like, like I said, I was going from room to room trying to figure out, like, how do I get the right light where I'm not getting that reflection? But then you can make your own little tweaks. It's got an editor within there. So the other thing I was doing was I was I was taking photos of photos and then going into Photoshop and fixing them. <laughs> so now I just have this one app I can try that I can just put everything into it and be done. Every every time from now on when I see... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Every time from now on when I see a throwback Thursday photo that looks horrible because it was a picture mm -hmm. of a picture... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put a link to this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. There. yes. There you go. Be like, hey. No, I'm, I'm I'm guilty of that too. My mom has the, the the photo albums with the plastic stuff over the pictures. Yes, it's, it's almost impossible to take something without a without a reflection. This is really really cool. Awesome. Let's try it. check out. So this is a uh, an app. Yeah. So is this on both platforms? Looks like it. All right. Go check it out. All Google. Google Photo Scan. Uncle Crappy. <laughs> I sent you a bunch of stuff, and, and we can we can. There's we can a lot make of stuff this. here, and then I swear we'll <laughs> we talk about. I swear we'll talk about a couple of video game stories after this to, to send you <laughs> send you out on a high note. But uh, this but is, this is, I mean, this is what I do, and it's it's something that I I, I had sort of observed for a long time. No, um, absolutely, but, and this has been. I know this has been a, a high point of discussion over the last week with the uh, elections and, and everything like that. But but this is an issue, and this is something that we run into, and it's something I think I, I probably most of us have noticed. Um, a bit on our own, our own Facebook to. feeds. Yeah, it's hard, it is hard not to. Uh, regardless of what Mark Zuckerberg says, mm -hmm. um, I, I, a, a good portion of, of the political content that, that uh, in, inevitably came through our Facebook streams in particular uh, in the last month or, or longer, if, you're, if you pay attention to this stuff, um, is uh, satire or is just outright false. Um, there is a, a there is a kind of a, a loud segment of the population that that says this had an influence on the election. I'm I'm not sure that whether that's that's actually the case. Uh, it could be. I mean, the election the election results are close enough. I feel that, like it's not possible. terribly quantifiable. Like uh, it's you, difficult. Uh, yeah. yeah. How really can you? Think, but like you can't. You really can't prove that. But but as as, as part of the the, the, the discussion that, that's happened since election day. 
um, there has been some pressure on on uh, Facebook in particular, but but all of the, the larger social media platforms to do something about the the the, the proliferation of, of fake news uh, that that I mean, that shows up in our feeds. Um, and it's it's not just Facebook, by the way. There uh, there was an instance where uh, a couple of days ago, Google's the number one Google search uh, under news for uh, complete election results or final election results actually was a site that said Donald Trump won the popular vote, which 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 is not true. Um, and, and after some research, uh, the, the the site's owner said, "Well, he found numbers on Twitter." Uh, the, the site that he found that he was he was quoting on Twitter was uh, you know, <laughs> shady at best. Um, but but I mean, that's that's a, and that's an example of, of how this stuff sort of uh, builds on itself. Um, uh, Facebook pushback uh, initially. Uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg said over the weekend that 99 percent of the news content on, on what that appears on on the Facebook platform is accurate or true or correct or I don't remember the exact words he used. Um, that 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 feels wrong to me, um, and I'd, I'd be curious to hear what you guys uh, to think. At, at, you know, after the election season and, and, and what you observed. Um, and, you know, most of most of it, a lot of it's satire, and a lot of people mistake that for real stuff. But there was an awful lot of fake stuff out there as well. Mm -hmm. um, since then, however, uh, both Facebook and Google uh, have taken steps to um, uh, remove uh, from from their their advertising programs uh, obviously fake sites. Um, so, I, I, so that's that's something that that would uh, obviously kind of uh, uh, influence, you know, what what shows up a little bit, on, especially in Google. Um, I, we're not sure what the, the what the, the actual impact would be on Facebook. I, first, before I go any further, I, I'm curious about what you guys experienced as far as the election. I don't I don't know if you if you pay attention to the political stuff like I do, um, but, but did you see a lot of obviously fake stuff? A lot of questionably questionable stuff. What 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 did you guys see in the days leading up to the election? I always see. I always like you know left or right leaning friends will post certain things and i saw stuff on both sides where it, you know generally it's like okay no i'm not going to see that and I'll, I'll hide a news site but sometimes mm -hmm. i go through and be, and be like that does that seem plausible or 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 something like well i hope that's plausible or you know whatever the case may be and mm -hmm. follow through and just the site just it, one it's not a cnn fox news it's not a it's not a site that you know basically if your site is surrounded by trashy news at the bottom or weight loss things uh move on uh and i, and I saw a lot of that yeah. and, and things yeah. that were like 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 you know something something news or uh, and i'm actually i'm actually i dismissed of course anything that had anything uh democrat liberal conservative in the title of the site it's like you're done mm -hmm. you're you're absolutely done um and and i want to hide all that for facebook but um because it, it, so 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 like that's that's a lot of what I noticed, but but I don't know about anything directly definitely aimed to be uh, fake and maybe done by these Macedonians. Was it that that were yeah, apparently yeah. generating like that insane was, fake? News? That was a source. Um, there were a, a, I, I've read again, and this is these these sources I'm 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 are, I'm unsure about, but apparently uh, uh, there are allegations that uh, Russian sources of of false uh, sites as well. Um, so I, there, there's definitely some kind of the international influences. I, I, I'm making no claims as to what this means or what, what the, the, uh, the attempt to influence the stuff was, um, John Katie, what'd you guys think? What'd you guys I, see? I didn't see anything like that looked like an advertisement to me that was meant to represent fake news. I, I will say along with, with what Mike's saying about, you know, this person or that post person posted something and it definitely seemed extreme. Can you really always tell if they were taking it as news or if it was a, Hey, look at this. Look for sources too. Thing? look for that's, sources. That's yeah. yeah. Because if it's a blog, that's maybe taking things out of proportion, follow through. Like, do you link a CNN article? You see a CNN as an example, but something that you're like, if it links back to a New York Post, a, 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 a CNN, a Fox News, you know, something that you have heard of before, something that looks like a news organization, whatever you think of them, 
Uh, but that that adds weight to it, right? Bob's blog dot wordpress. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a great <laughs> great choice. I mean, I'm looking at and I'm also looking at the list here, and uh, you know, I see this kind of stuff everywhere. But like like your list that you gave, like Infowars, Rile News, Satire mm-hmm. Tribune, Jones Report, Lou Rockwell. I mean, Liberty Talk dot fm. Okay, that that the list is interesting, and and, and I hope uh, she's a she's a, 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 a media professor. Um, I, I hope she gets to the point where she kind of separates those out by category, uh, because there, there are some satire sites there. Although I, I've seen plenty of instances where, where, you know, most of us know what the onion is and, and what they do, but, but well, people still take but, that stuff seriously. But there's also alternative ones. Like there's kayfabe news for, yes. for pro wrestling, which is absolutely fake news about a fake sport. Yes. Um, there's, yes. there's, uh, there's, there's these, um, um, uh, onion like, um, uh, metal and, and, and music, news sites that keep popping yes. around say like, hey guess who's reuniting and it's like no it's a yeah. you know and you start looking at the other stories and i'm like there's nothing that's like I, I i don't know is there something on onion that says by the way this is satire like in the fine print or something like that just in case or or because if they're really <laughs> relying on our I, I, common they're, they're sense actually, they're actually are, are and i can't remember the, the onions tagline um but it, it makes it fairly obvious but but people just people still miss it people yeah still miss it mm-hmm. oh absolutely um and that's the, the the list is a is a good start um, uh, of of sites. And you, you see it there, uh, and this is this is the overall this is the overarching point that I, I wanted to make briefly. If you see something that that you wonder about, take a second and look. Um, whether you're looking at a, at a list like this of of sites that that post that that do satire that have a a strong uh, ideological bent one way or the other. Um, or, or that just post things that are outright false, um, or, or, or take a look at a, at a place like Snopes. Take a look at Snopes. That's all they do. They, they, they go to the internet and say like, no, that's this is correct. Yes, this one is this one is real. No, this one is not. Um, be be a conscientious, uh, responsible consumer of the news, and you will be a smarter person for it. Um, and it's and it's hard because there is a lot of stuff out there. That that that's that that sounds the way you want it to sound, and it looks like a real site. But t- take a second and think, um, and 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 we will all be better for it. Uh, Katie, you look like you're reacting to something. I I have a cousin. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, we, we all have there's that cousin. cousin. And I was like, oh, I, I I know there's gonna be some quality articles on here, and like downtrend.com. <laughs> like there's it's. I mean, some of them are, are very, very blatant. Like, where was the mm-hmm. one? Redneckneswire.com. <laughs> like, I wonder what that one talks about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm not, I just, I, this is one that somebody who posts very political things. And, mm-hmm. and I, I had seen some on their page, and that's why I picked them out. Nothing specifically about political views. It just, I knew that they posted these things. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's amazing to me. And, we're living in the world, especially with social media, that we just want to constantly align ourselves with people with our similar views. That's comforting yes. to us. You know, we can go to Twitter. I only follow people who like things that I like. I'm going to go to Facebook, follow people that like. And so now it's just like, of course, we're going to gravitate to these new sites that, are, you know, reaffirm us. We know what we're talking about. We're the smartest people in the room. Hmm. And it just. Everybody else is the crazy ones. But it also, it also lends to the crazy stuff that I heard out of people's mouths. Yes, I don't like Hillary because she's has dead. She's like there's dead bodies everywhere. I was like, what <laughs> are you talking about? Like, like I, I or, it, it, both sides, both sides. By the way, yes. it, yeah. it, it's it not is, just that. It is a, the, the list that we referenced um, mentions mentions plenty mentions uh, Breitbart, uh, which has been in the news lately. Uh, but it also mentions uh, like the other ninety eight percent. It's it all a whole bunch of uh, a host of, of uh, liberal uh, bent sites. Um, and both sides do this, and, and both sides do it a lot. Certainly. So when, I've, I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, they need to tag the news as fake or they need to tag it as But I don't think these sites that can intend be, to. Right. So, so, so my thought process around this is let's not try to tag everything as fake or real. Let's, let's come up with some way to validate real news sources and then tag it as as authentic news or the problem is i gotta be real careful about how i say this but i think the people that this affects the most aren't going to bother with any of that the people that 
are reacting to those things. Like, how many times are we tricked? And we know to look for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. I I, want to say most of the people in this audience, like, we are looking, we're aware of what's going on in the internet. We're, 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 we're looking at things kind of sideways, you know, because we remember April Fool's year, every, April Fool's every year. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, it was a giant storm of this stuff when everything is kind of um, um, weighted with, po- po- you know, politics. So, so that sounds good. I want to believe it, it becomes mm-hmm. a thing. I, I, again, I've been dealing with this with pro wrestling for years. Right, because <laughs> like, right. oh, you wouldn't right. guess this. what Vince McMahon did this week. Da 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 da. And I'm looking at the site, and I'm like, and all the pop ups get start barraging me, and I'm like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Do you link to anything? Do you link to like the three reputable news st- sources that I'm still questioning that have been around for like 20 years? No, it's like this is the thing heard in the back that so and so happened. Who cares? You know, it's, it's you can't go by that. And now, and then you go to. I'm at wrestling shows. Oh, did you hear what Vince did? I'm like, you really think that happened? You know, like it's the it's the same kind of thing. There's this layer of truthiness, um, and 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 unfortunately, like most are kind of just caught up in the what they've heard and rumor versus. Well, and then maybe it goes back to your, your point about you know, people want it, it's a story people want to believe, right? And I yeah. don't know how you're going to change. You don't. You can't. That. You, you, you can't. Because like, these people don't look up Snopes. These people... It, it, it took a while before I knew what Snopes was, to be honest. And I look for this stuff. Um, so, yeah. To I mean, if, can you introduce to your family, hey, che- double check, check, the source. Double yeah. check on Snopes. Double check on mm-hmm. this. Double check on mm-hmm. this. You know, and I mean, how many things have you seen on Facebook and you just see two comments down like the Snopes article that disproves it? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's kind of. And I and I am that guy. And, <laughs> and it's usually <laughs> and it's usually Mike in my feed. <laughs> and, and I'm very I, I don't, I don't want to restrict uh, uh, even the ideological base sites. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, you know, first and foremost, as, as, as someone who is a professional journalist, you know, you defend the First Amendment and you, you defend the right of people to to uh, the, the speech they want to make, it, it, even if it's something that you don't agree with. And, and say, yeah, um, and say the stuff you don't like as much as the stuff you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I labeling, if there was a way to label sites that were absolutely false, I, I, I'm, I'm not. I, I don't know that that's that's protected speech. Uh, and I, I don't think that's that's um, that that would be what the intention of the of the uh, the founders of the country and the people who wrote the Constitution would be. I, I would be okay with that. Um, but 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 the, the most important thing, wh- whether or not people do it, the most important thing is to it here is to just to, to be smart about what you consume and about what you repost because. It's it's uh, it, it it can create the difficulties uh, for for either side. It just depends on on what your ideology is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Certainly, sorry, Katie. No, I was I thought I had a better a, the updated link for that, and I didn't know it. I was bummed about the uh, the sites. And I think the other thing you're going to run you're running into probably crappy in your industry is that you're not rewarded for ethical quote unquote good journalism. You're rewarded for your speediness. And that's something else that, uh, that, that happens. And then there's a, there's a segment of the population that, that yeah. wants to believe that, that anyone who's actually does this professionally has no ethics. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not the case. That is not the case. But, uh, and, the, and I, I don't know how you, that's, that's a whole other question. How, yeah. how that gets addressed. Mm-hmm. But it's the speediness of like putting that first article mm-hmm. out there of right. like, oh, like this, this yes. was, and that's, and them. again, this is, this is a problem that, mm-hmm. you know, Hey, I'm not a journalist. But I do this and have an opinion and, and relay mm-hmm. news and and do that kind of thing, you know, and, and anybody can and anybody can build something like this, you know, and I think that's like a lot of that kind of freedom on the Internet uh, has, has done that, too. So. All right. Can we lighten up with video games? <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. First of all, first of all, first of all, Mario's coming, guys. It's Woo! official December 15th. December 15th. Yes. It was announced. I mean, I feel like it was announced forever ago. Mm-hmm. Yes, in true Apple fashion. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, so 151 countries, 10 languages. Yeah, Any wild. device running iOS 8 or later. Um, the thing that surprised me was the price tag. 
I'm not because it's Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo thinks their stuff is worthwhile and they are going to charge for it. But there's no, there's no in-app purchases, which is kind of nice. That seemed interesting, um, especially considering there's like a building kind of segment to it. Uh, there's also kind of like a shadow race uh, sort of aspect to it as well. My knee can come over apparently from that weird game that I played that I found out like what kind of pizza I just didn't liked. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. So, no, I, 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 no, I'm super excited for that. I, this will like completely like get me just insane with video games again on my phone. So, um, but not only that, but we have to give a shout out to our friends. We just interviewed a couple weeks ago. I, I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. Time is not is fluid for me right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked to Epicast and Black Forge Coffee uh, in, in an episode. More about entrepreneurism and everything. Um, they're, they're doing kind of multiple things there. Uh, but <laughs> along with the former 8-Bit Evolution, which we, I think, kind of partially got them in trouble for because they did such a good interview with us, uh, now Mega Cat Games just released had the release party and now have the Kickstarter because this is how they do things as we discussed on that interview for Coffee Crisis. The local coffee shop has a video game, guys. And uh, man, I, I think I want to put my money in on this. It's a, a, a Sega Genesis. Like they actually have this game looks good, by the way. Like this is like some sweet Sega Genesis graphics. The uh, the the cutscene graphics are actually fairly um, hand drawn and pixel art and everything like that. Uh, it looks nice. Like it looks really good. Uh, and, you know, and it's again kind of like a side scroller, uh, beat 'em up uh, ish thing, but with coffee. Uh, so, and and that's I know that guy. That, that's Nick. That's Nick at the coffee house right there. <laughs> that that she she just served me coffee today. Um, but uh, <laughs> it, like like legit straight up like and that, that's completely awesome. That's kind of cool thing that they're doing uh, with Mega Cat Games is this kind of uh, interesting. Um, like we when we first discovered them, talking about them on here, they were doing a germ kind of a germ warfare. There's a cat with the cartridge, so there you go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got I got to roll back here, Katie. Did you notice the cat has a has a tie? <laughs> has a collar and a tie. Business cat. It's a business cat. Look That's at this great. business. Look at that. But uh, but but these guys are really good about their packaging. Uh, so uh, if you you pick it up, one that's a that's a straight on. Sega Genesis type packaging and cartridge and everything like that, and they're they're going to have all kinds of crazy um, um, stuff going on. You're going to have a, a a vinyl album of Coffee Crisis, crisis uh, chip tunes. <laughs> There's a a pack of coffee from Zeke's Coffee here in town. Uh, mouse pad, you know, all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff going on there uh, for the high end stuff. So that's it, pretty cool. So go check that out. Uh, look up Coffee Crisis. Uh, for the Sega Genesis on Kickstarter, support our friends over there and get your. I might have to get one just so I can have the cartridge for the Sega Genesis. Now I'll go over to Matt's place because he's got that like new new Genesis with all the games on it that takes the cartridges. So uh, go check it out. Coffee Crisis, Mega Cat Games doing some really really cool stuff. All right, I think we actually got through most of the important stories today. Holy hell! Uh, <laughs> full house full docket that is okay guys thank you so much for joining us today mike pound where can people find you online uh people can find me um uh, work me at uh, mike pound uh, mike pound pg on uh, one twitter uncle crappy on the other twitter um you can search mike or michael pound and to find professional one or personal one on facebook um and if you look at postgazette.com slash beer me <laughs> you'll find my beer show which is my by pride and joy go check it out great stuff there um has the Thank penguin you. hat popped up on the beer me show uh, the penguin hat has not popped up in the beer me show um <laughs> i called him, <laughs> I call him I don't, I don't beer. he thought the plug really was over this possibility there Possible. you go. There you go. Maybe if we hit the playoffs again, right? Yeah. 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 That could, could, be. could that happen. Could, be. could happen. Uh, I, I stumbled on on the old news breaks like randomly a while ago. I, I, I come it's across them once such in a while. Great stuff. That is something I miss a lot. Nothing dies on the internet until unless we delete our <laughs> YouTube accounts, which we won't. You can find some interesting old stuff of me too out there. So, <laughs> um, who else is on the show? Hi guys. Who are you? Uh, Who are you? Katie Dude is. At K Dutters on the Twitter, uh, scarehouse.com. Yeah, scarehouse see things. Just survived. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Fixing cars in the parking lot. Yeah, what's up? Need your car jumped? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> I can do that stuff. I uh, hit her up, uh, social media and the like. And our gadget guru at Big Bank International Incorporated. 
is John Chichilla, chillatech.net. At Chilla on the Twitter, John Chichilla on the Facebook. There you go. And I'm at Sorgatron. Check out everything coming up. Uh, this Friday, we're having a studio wrestling mixer. If you uh, remember or would like to like see more of uh, studio wrestling here in Pittsburgh, we're uh, working on a project, a documentary project, where we're showing uh, footage that has not been seen yet. Uh, as part of that, if you want to join us and avoid, uh, if you want something else that's not light up night and insanity downtown, please join us <laughs> up in Allentown at Work Hard Pittsburgh for that. That's at 6 p.m. Uh, you can find that information for that over at the Sorgatron Media Facebook page or in our newsletter, uh, which you can get at sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, also, this Sunday is the Sorgatron Media Coffee. If you are a creator or want to create things or just want to talk about podcasting, social media, or video games, sure. Uh, you can join us again at Work Hard Pittsburgh this Sunday at 1 p.m. Uh, coffee provided by or well, purchased from uh, Black Forge. That has a video game, guys! Uh, so there you go. Uh, but And what else? Boot Camp. Boot Camp Pittsburgh. If you're just catching this when it releases Wednesday night, it's going to be boot camp about food blogging with Amanda Narcissi. Uh, so I will, of course, Facebook Live that as usual, I believe, over at the PodCamp Pittsburgh page. Got so many bees. Um, and I think that's everything going on. Is that enough going on? That's a pretty good list. I'm going to a wedding this weekend and then Thailand. Uh, well, we'll talk about that. Hey, Chilla, I got an assignment for you. Okay. You need to help me. Although it might be too late by the time we have the discussion about this next week, but I need to figure out technology for for traveling overseas. First of all, I need to plug it into down, Thailand. Right. Into Thailand. <laughs> so if you've heard anything, I want to know. I, I'll look up some stuff because at work we have a bunch of like, based on what country you're going to. Here's what you some of the security things you should think about. Well, or that's what, definitely something I'm concerned with. Take I with you. wanted I wanted to get a Chromebook by then, but I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to. Uh, so Windows desktop or Windows laptop? Desktop, yeah, Windows yeah. desktop. Yeah, they'll, they'll never search this. <laughs> got, they've got my tower here. Um, but uh, anyways, check out everything. Please subscribe, rate, etc. cetera. Uh, uh, Patreon, everything's over at awesomecast.net. Check out the interviews, all this stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. You're awesome people. Thank you to our awesome chat room. You're our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.